Uh, whoo, man, it's pretty beige in this room. God damn. I got me nervous. <laughs> well, like she said, I'm from Chicago, man. I see some, thank you, three people. <laughs> Hey, listen, man, I'm going to tell you right now, I see a lot of beautiful people up in here, man. I think there's some couples sprinkling in there somewhere. You guys look beautiful and happy. You look real good, you know what I'm saying? I, I get it. Me personally, I wouldn't want to date right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my 40s and shit. Dating in your 40s is like, it's kind of like shopping at TJ Maxx. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, hold on, I'm going to make you understand. It's like... It's like, take this shirt. It's not a bad shirt. It's a cool little T-shirt. But when you get it from TJ Maxx, you got to understand, nobody else wanted this shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. And then, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell it. Dating women in California, they walk around casually doing cocaine all the time. <laughs> Did you know that? I mean, all the time. And they offer it to you. It don't even matter what time it is, man. Like, right now, it's daylight. I go outside right now. Some girl come up, come up to me and be like, hey, hey, you want a bump? I was like, nah, boo, I'm, I'm good, man, to each his own. And what's crazier, it's a turnoff if you just don't take it. They don't even like you. Matter of fact, the girls just start screaming at me. We say, what, do you think you're better than me? Huh? I was like... Uh, yeah, bitch. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you, but, man, I don't need that kind of shit in my life. You know what I mean? And I don't understand what women be saying out here, man. One chick said, you get some of this ass, it's like purchasing prime real estate. I was like, what? Damn. She said, hell yeah. It wasn't until I went to her one-bedroom studio apartment in San Bernardino... <laughs> Well, I realized she set her expectations way too high. <laughs> Just straight up lied to me. It was ridiculous, man. It wasn't even a, it wasn't even a real apartment, man. It was like sections full of shit. And then these sections was attached to other sections. You had the kitchen section attached to the bathroom section. And the bathroom section was the living room section. At least I thought it was the living room section. And I'm, I'm gonna explain. So, <laughs> crazy thing is, she called herself trying to give me the tour of this apartment. So I'm sitting on the couch, and she says, she's like, so I'm gonna give you the tour, okay? So they don't get lost. And I was like, God damn. <laughs> so, and then what's even crazy, she just stood up in the middle of the apartment and just started pointing to shit. I ain't had to go nowhere. To like, that's the kitchen, okay? In case you get a little hungry, this is the bathroom, in case you know, you have to. And you're sitting in my bedroom. I was like, what? I thought she was bullshitting until I accidentally ran into the wall and the goddamn bed fell down. I was like, what is that? It was ridiculous. Well, you know, you know, I learned a valuable lesson, man. You can't judge a woman by his cover. You know what I'm going to start doing? If I ever become single again, I'm going to date ugly women. <laughs> Dead ass serious. Expectations aren't too high. Low standards. All you gotta do is feed them. That's all they want. They just want something to eat and they good. That's it. Shit. And then the only thing is if you're in a relationship, man, get rid of all your ugly friends. Get rid of them. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. They get bad advice, horrible advice, and they janky. They come up in your house. I bet you money they're going to steal some shit out of your crib. I guarantee you. My grandma was the worst. She did not like ugly people. She said, I don't want no janky ass motherfucker in my house. I was like, what do you mean, grandma? Take your cousin Nate right there. You see him? I said, yeah. Don't you bring his ugly ass up in my house. going to fuck around and burn up my shit. I'm like, all right, grandma, chill. You Calm down. But you know what's so even, what's even crazier? It'd be the ugly women that live in high rises in downtown LA. Not in San Bernardino. <laughs> so, lesson learned. People in 
Relationship, stay in your relationship, okay? How you defeat the arguments, fellas, just do what the hell she says, and you'll be all good. All right? My name is Raphael Wright. You guys have a blessed, beautiful night. Thank you. <laughs>